guys welcome back to my channel so today as you guys can see I obviously have a new hair it looks the same thing as my other hair that I had but because you guys really love that hair color I decided why not do it again so on this video I'm going to basically show you guys how I get this hair color I feel like I'm going to be rocking this hair color a lot now even though it's not the same hair but it's going to be some similar hair color I did try to do this color a bit darker than the other one um, but yeah this wig that I have is actually from RPG um, show and they sent me this wig not looking like this obviously you guys know I always go in and play with my wigs and get it the way I want it to look so when I receive it it was like this orangey looking color and I just did not like it I toned it um, and it was looking kind of right, but I still didn't like it So I ended up going in and like putting color. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video I did not show you guys how to cut this hair or how to put bangs on this hair because literally I did it last minute I was as you guys can see I'm obviously not in the same um, Vicinity that I'm usually am recording my videos. I am actually at VidCon so I literally woke up today, did my makeup, and decided to cut my hair. So there's no tutorial on how to cut this hair. Um, plus, I'm not a professional. So, But anyway, yeah. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Hey. So first and foremost, shout out to RPG Show on their 10th anniversary that is the stuff they've been killing the game since before i even came on youtube so hey congrats to you guys but anyway so on this wig as you guys can see i got this wig from this nice box and inside the box i get this comb which i actually use when i travel i actually took this with me to la very compatible but anyway, so as you guys can see, my wig is super gorgeous. It's long, but I am not digging the color. I, I'm just like, yeah, I have to work on it just to get the color the way I want it. Um, but as you guys can see, it's obviously a lace front wig. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is uh, 360 because it does have a bit of a lace in the back. But I'm just like, uh, I don't think that's a 360. I don't know. That's not how 360 looks to me. But yeah, so in, in the inside of the wig, you get two combs and two combs on the side and one on the back, um, which is very good for people that do have hair. But for me personally, I don't have hair, so I do not use those combs. I actually just go in and add elastic band, but you don't have to worry about buying any because um, RPG Show actually includes um, elastic band in all of their wigs. So, which is awesome. And then, as you guys can see, the front was pre-plugged. So, you don't have to go back in and plug. But if you do want to customize it more to your liking, then definitely do so. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is take my bleaching cream and um, powder. And I mix that two together, which I show you guys so many times on my videos. That's why I didn't show you guys how to do it again. Um, but I'm going to go in and just kind of bleach the hair a bit more because I want it to be lighter. Like, I really do not like my hair to be brassy. I feel like that doesn't complement my skin tone. So I like to, to make it lighter and then I tone it down. And then after toning it down, I basically um, put color on it to make it a bit gray, grayish or cool tone because I feel like that perfectly, like, um, looks really good on my skin tone I guess and I guess that's one of the reason why you guys love it on me but yeah so that's what I'm doing and then I actually went and put some on the roots because I do not like my roots to be completely black I like them to be dark but um, not black so I just went ahead and let that sit for about like 20 minutes and then I decided to rinse all of that bleach out of the hair and make sure you honestly wash that off completely because you do not want the hair to keep processing. Um, so that is what I'm doing. Just rinsing. And as you guys can see, the hair actually looks so much more lighter. The brassiness has reduced, but it's not completely like off. So I'm going to go ahead and take my purple shampoo and I'm going to... Um, shampoo the hair with that purple shampoo just to get the brassiness to go 
a bit down and make it more of a cooler tone um so yeah i was just showing you guys the roots it looks like something that i liked but i wasn't so happy with it um but yeah so this is the purple shampoo that i'm going to be using today and i'm going to leave everything in the description bar down below because i don't have it right next to me so i don't know what everything is exactly called so just make sure you check in the description down below for a direct link to everything So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this hair and honestly this hair is really good. I'm so surprised that I bleached it again and it wasn't even like shedding. Like I did get like few shedding like 2 or 5 strand but it wasn't like excessive shedding where I'm just like oh hell no nah, this is terrible hair. So that is really good. So this right here is when I fucked up this hair okay. Like, I'm over here trying to be Miss Professional, aka, let me just let you guys know, I am not professional at all in hair. I just like playing around and I um, usually would end up liking what I do. But this right here, I hated it. So I took this color, Mahogany, and I decided to stop putting it on, putting it on the roots to kind of get the roots to be um, a darker brown. Um and this this color was literally turning the hair like pink i don't know if you guys can see but it was turning pink and i was like uh this is definitely not what i was going for i mean i love the pink hair stuff but this is not it okay this was not it so i ended up just kind of washing it off and you guys are gonna see how it turned After I rinsed it, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take that purple shampoo and apply it again because I thought maybe if I put the purple shampoo, it's going to like take away the, um, the pink, the pink dye that it just turned to, even though it wasn't a pink color, but that actually didn't happen. So you guys can still see that, um, pinkish color, but that's okay though, because I have my ways. Okay. I have my ways so i'm gonna go ahead and take this l'oreal color and this is like a really nice brown that i liked so i was like i'm gonna use it on the roots because i honestly did not want my roots to be like the super black roots i wanted it to be a brown gradient effect and you know coming down so i just went ahead and started applying that on the roots and i kind of went down to where the hair started getting pink and i put that on there too because God forbid I get half pink hair and half brown hair. I feel like that looks very tacky, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so that is what I'm doing. And then I went ahead and took this other color. And this is a 7A cool on. It's called Ashy. I'm going to leave a link down below for this color. And so I decided to just put that color on the rest of the hair. And it looks black now, but it actually isn't, okay? It just looks dark now for some reason. Um, so yeah, after that, I just went ahead and shampooed it, I mean, and rinsed the hair, and I conditioned it for like three hours, and then this is how it turns out to look, which I freaking love. As you guys can see, it's not brassy at all, and I honestly got a lot of compliments at VidCon about my hair, like all the ladies were like stopping me, like, oh my god, your hair color is so cute. So yeah, that is how I get this color. This